I may have found the absolute best farming technique in all of Disney Dreamlight Valley. This has helped me save so much time and frustration, and I want to share it with you so you can sit back while your character takes care of everything for you. Normally when you farm a plot, it seems best to maximize the space by making just one giant plot of plants. You fill them up, you water them, you figure you're good to go. There's just one problem with this though. While your character usually does a good job staying in line with your plot, sometimes they end up going the wrong way, especially after you found a golden spot. Your character seemingly decides to go off in a random direction, leading you off to a new path, and then you have to go back to all these spots that were left behind to harvest or replant. You may have a whole section you missed just because of this. Another issue with this method is your farming buddy. If you're like me and you trap your farm farming buddy out of the way, when they come back to spit out all of the goods, they can only land outside the plot, sometimes even going outside of the original biome if it's too close to it. And that's kind of annoying. Well, here's what I've been doing and it's been helping me a ton. Instead of planting a giant box, make a snake pattern for your crops. You just weave in and out so there's one long root. This way your character goes and picks all the veggies or plants them and only has one path to follow. Because of how convenient this is, sometimes I'll stick something in my keyboard and have her pick away, and when I come back, she's done. It's really great for multitasking. There's another benefit to this as well. You have more room for wild spices and crops to grow, and when you release your farming buddy, they'll plop all of the veggies in between those spaces as well as around it. It's super helpful for running back and forth just to grab them all. I really do think that this is the best and most efficient way to farm in Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I filled pretty much my entire Forgotten Lands like this for pumpkins alone. I hope you give it a try, and if you want to run faster to pick up all of those harvests, I have a video showing you how to sprint to make your work faster and more efficient. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay happy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!